Hey everybody, az 80s girl back with you. I'm going to continue my Princess of Power, or my She-Ra Princess of Power collection with you. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I have a lot of other videos going over each of the dolls and their accessories. This one is actually about the uh, clothing for her, her clothing line, She-Ra's clothing line, was called the Fantastic Fashions. So, these are all the Fantastic Fashions. They were two series, and there's a couple back here. They're like, yo, yo, what about us? Um, there's a total of eight in the first series and eight in the second series. And if you are a collector, you'll know that it's harder to find the second series than the first. So the first are readily available on eBay. Um, almost all of them are there. Uh, there's some bits and pieces. Um, the, third, the second series is definitely harder to find. And I only have three of the second series, and they're still missing pieces. Uh, unless you really want to pay the money uh, close to $80 uh, more for them, um, that's up to you. So these are more, um, the loose ones are definitely cheaper from 15 on up. Same with the on card. They can be, you know, 25 on up as well, um, fresh in the package. So we're going to start going over the Fantastic Fashions, kind of like a runway show. So I'm going to set these aside, but we'll go one by one of each one is. So if you want to hold on and watch this with, with me, I'm going to be going over each fashion here. So when you bought your Fantastic Fashion, it was on card. So on card means on the package, cardboard, and cardboard. So it's sealed plastic and it's pretty much um, taped in there. Yeah, it's pretty much taped, fastened inside the package. This one is called, it says Princess of Power Fantastic Fashions, hold on to your hat. Okay, so this is hold on to your hat. And you can see the price sticker here from Toys R Us back in the day. It was on clearance. For 96 cents, yes, 96 cents, and it turned in. This turns into about 30 dollars now on eBay, probably. So or more, we'll see. So on the back, these are basically made fashions with surprise for Shira and friends. All of the fashions were tried on by Shira. She it shows you how to put them on, kind of a description of each one, why they made it so. They make them so that they can change them, or something is fun about the actual fashion. So. There are the eight total at the bottom of all the fashions of the first series. Okay, this is the first series. And they definitely fit all, it says, all the five and a half inch dolls. Where does it say that? Where is it? There it is. Five and a half inch dolls and friends. Okay. There are a lot of dolls that were similar at that time that came out in the 80s, around that same time frame. Like Golden Girls, Princess Guinevere, Guardians of the Ultra Cosmos, I think, um, Starla. Um, and so on and so forth. So they did have a lot of mix. You'll see a lot of clothing mixed in with these as well, and it's kind of hard to decipher what is what. But I have mine are specific to share, unless you know. Now I found this catalog. I'm not sure where I got it from, but this was actually a, a, a small catalog of the fantastic fashions from Shira. Uh, so we're kind of going to do read through it and go over each fashion, kind of like a fashion show. So fantastic fashions. I love my fantastic fashions. They are special because each one has a secret surprise I can use to defend Etheria from that nasty Catra. There are eight fantastic fashions to collect, and they all fit on my Princess of Power friends. Look out, Catra. Now, the first one she goes over, we will go over, is Flight of Fancy. Whoops, there we go. Flight of Fancy is worn by Flutterina. Instead of just having your dolls loose without any clothing or anything, and obviously Flutterina doesn't have her wings on today, she's wearing a it's a fantastic fashion. Now, Flight of Fancy, this is what I like to wear in Crystal Swift when I soar above the clouds of Etheria. Of course, again, this is all for She-Ra initially. I'm ready for any adventure that comes my way. Just let Catra make her mischief. I'll simply call to my magical sword and shield, and instantly they'll fly to my side. So you can see here that the sword and the shield are basically wings, so they, the sword will fly to her side if she needs you know, to use them as such. And she's wearing, most of the items that are on the fashions kind of go around their neck uh, and fly behind. It's kind of cute, hangs over with crystal stickers and such. Has some sheer leggings here, kind of Victoria's Secret-esque going on here. Um, the, again, as you would see with the ones with wear, the stickers will start deteriorating, curling up. The metallic will start waiting, fading away. So this is Flight of Fancy, okay? The next one is Fit to be Tied, and Fit to be Tied is worn by Cassis Spella. This is Fit to be Tied. 
Uh, like I said, they usually have something on their head and around their neck. Um, it's a couple pieces. There's a piece around her neck as well that floats out the back, and then one big armored piece with the skirt attached. So this is on cast a spell, fit to be tied. I think this fancy blue gown is perfect for dancing across the ballroom floor with bow. But little does he know my beautiful blue scarf is really a life-saving rope. I can use it to rescue someone in trouble, even that nasty Catra. So fashion designers out there, wow, can you make something that your scarf turns into a rescue rope? Wow, you should do that. These are all pretty amazing, fantastic fashions. So this is fit to be tied. The next one is Flower Power, worn by Shira. This is one of my favorite Shiras I have. Um, it's one of the newer versions of Shira, um, just newer releases. Uh, she's just her face is, is different. It has like a little more. She's prettier, I have to say, than the other one of her. Uh, more I don't know, eyelashes and her hair is really nice and blonde, and it's just better, probably in better condition as well. So she's wearing Flower Power. I love strolling in my garden in this dress. The flowery shawl always makes me feel sunny, but let danger cross my path and I've got flower power. The pretty posies on my shoulder pulled out to push trouble away. Take that, Entrapta. So, you can see, watch this. This is going to blow your mind. So the posies that are next to her shoulder here, I'm not sure, let me show you the back. So they're kind of detached, it loops around, okay? So those are her posies attached. So if they pull out, it shows in the picture of these posies just blasting people. See how it pulls out? Pam. Supposedly, but posies can knock people out. So those are the posies. Again, fashion designers, why don't you make something that'll keep us safe, right? We can use, right? So the posies will attack as well. So that is flower power, which is amazing. The next one is hold on to your hat. Now hold on to your hat is worn by Angela. And this one I am missing the sword. Where's her little, there it is. Her, um, this is what the sword was in. It's a, like a little, you know, matching to her skirt here uh, that will cover up the sword. So she's wearing the hat. Um, this is the one I have on card, but this is what it looks like on. Um, this has come detached. Again, these will easily rip, so you really need to be careful. Um, it should be attached to her. I'm not sure how to put this on. I was scared that I was going to rip her hair off. So I don't even know if I was supposed to put it through right here. Probably not. I think somehow you attach this to that. La, la, la. So hold on to your hat. This is a great outfit. It turns any party Catra attends into a surprise party. When Catra starts in with her tricks, is she in for a surprise? My sparkly hat becomes a light blinding shield. Watch out. Is it blinding? I think so. And the pretty parasol is really a cover for my sword. So, the parasol she's wearing is the same color to hide her sword so she can blend it in. Man, they thought into this. So that is hold on to your hat. Next one is Ready in Red. Now, I have Ready in Red worn by Katra. Couldn't leave her out. She is a pretty doll. Um, this is Ready in Red. This is all the pieces that it came with. Let the weather do its worst. I don't care. The soft furry skirt will protect me from the cold. See how furry it is? It's really protecting your legs, don't you think? And the hat, too. It's awesome. It's like a it's one of the 80s trolls, right? Um, this, okay, there we go. And I can turn inside out. Wait. And I can turn it. Let's see. This suffering skirt will protect me so cold. And I can turn it inside out to protect me another way as a suit of armor. So, yeah, you can turn around. It's furry underneath. And turn around. There's her suit of armor. Uh, the special cape doubles as a net to trap and trap to, or to save someone in trouble. So the sparkly side here... And then that's so sparkling side on this side is supposedly used as a net. To me, it looks more like Santa's sack. That you, <laughs> but this kind of what they did with Natasha. They used her cape as a um, as a net as well to capture bad guys or so forth. So this is ready in red fashion. Um, just sticks in her head, kind of troll esque. Yes. Uh, the stickers can start peeling and stuff like that. You just got it in curling. So this is that one, ready and red. Okay? The next one is Rise and Shine. Rise and Shine. Okay. I love to relax on my lacy lounging gown. So this is my original, one of my original she was wearing it. But I'm always ready to defend Etheria. Quick, glimmers cornered by Catra nearby. I must save her. Little does Catra know this lacy gown hides a sparkly suit of armor. No way. 
I take off my robe and it's She-Ra to the rescue. Watch out, Catra, here I come. So if you take this off, it's tied on in the back. Oh my gosh, you just take it all, this part off, and this whole thing comes off into her shield, her armor. Wow, see all the armor it's hiding, this pink armor? See that? Again, I don't know how this is very protective, but I guess it is. Pink armor. Why didn't they think of that? So anyway, lounging around, which I don't think she ever did. And then she's got pink armor. So that's Rise and Shine. Uh, Veils of Mystery is next. Veils of Mystery. And is worn by Angela. And I am missing the sword to this one, but this is a little uh, holder for it. And her, the, it's another purple sword that goes in there. So don't you love surprises? I do. That's why I love this dress. Underneath these layers of veils, underneath the shimmering trim, is a special secret sword that I don't have. Uh, so when trouble tries to take me by surprise, I can surprise it in return. So that's basically what it is. You're hiding the sword somehow within these finds of cloth and stuff. Um, it's one big piece on top, separate piece on top, separate skirt at the bottom. It's almost a two-tone uh, cape behind her here. Okay, and then again, that's the part that goes over the sword. Okay, so that's Veils of Mystery. The set, then the last one of the series of the eight... It's called Deep Blue Secret, and Deep Blue Secret is worn by Pika Blue. I do mix them up as best I can, um, as long as they're going to cooperate with me. They get to wear an outfit here. So this is, oh, forget it. So this is Deep Blue Secret. Guess what? I have a secret map. A map of a world below the sea that leads to buried treasure. And if you promise not to tell a soul, I'll show you where the map is hidden. See right here behind the blue fish shield, whoops, which I don't have. That matches my beautiful blue gown. Now come with me in a search of the secrets of the sea. So I don't have a little, it's a little tiny map. They show in this picture here. I'll show you real quick. It's easily lost, but it does come on the card. So she's supposed to have this tiny little map that goes behind the fish. Um, I don't know where they thought of this one. It's pretty interesting. So it wraps around her head. She kind of looks like a fish. It's got like fins on the side. Um, and then again, out to the back. And then a flowing skirt. Again, the, uh, the stickers and metallic can start peeling and, and coming off at times from just being played with. And again, her fish. Very cool. Okay, so those are the eight fashions of the first series of dolls. Now, I don't have descriptions or anything for the second series. I only have uh, my cheat sheet here and what I do have. So, out of the eight, I have three, and they're still missing items. So, first of all, this is Frosta, and she's wearing uh, blue lightning and these are hard to find. If you find them, they're probably, you know, up to $80 plus. I don't even know. Um, so Blue Lightning, she is missing a shield that actually has a, white, a, um, a yellow bolt on her shield to match. So this is Blue Lightning. It's kind of rough, a lot of the curling to the stickers. But this is Blue Lightning worn by Frosta. I don't have descriptions, like I said. Colorful Secret is a rainbow one. Um, frosty Fur, if you, so if you see an outfit that has fur and fur boots, for um, cloak with a hood, that's that's just frosty for heart of gold. Um, it's kind of like a heart shaped around the the bodice. Um, it's white with gold polka dots. This one is called uh, Reflections in Red. I've seen this one a little more available on eBay than the others. Uh, I do have it in capture again. I like to have her in something. This is her shield. I think it's missing. It's supposed to have something here for her to hold on to. Reflections in Red must have some it reflecting. So it is reflective on one side, and then this is that side. I didn't really look this one up to see what they meant, but it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Looks good. Like the little hat or crown type thing. Okay, so that's Reflections in Red. Hidden Gold. Um, one of them looks like, like a Spartan would wear. Uh, Secret Messenger. Uh, I think that one has a map as well. And then Windy Jumper. Windy Jumper I do have parts too. Um, not very good parts. So I have one of my sheer dolls wearing it. Um, this is her original skirt. It's not the skirt that it came with. I only found two pieces to this one. Um, it did come with the uh, neck part that is, it's almost like a, a weird leathery piece. It's coming apart. But this is her neck piece, just to wisp in the back. And this is a hat slash parachute. Yeah. So it's supposed to help her out if she's in a bind and she can parachute down. So this is Windy Jumper. So, it's 
kind of neat. I'm not going to attach it to her. But that's the Windy Jumper that is also worn as a hat. I give her a little bounce in the back. Okay, so Windy Jumper, Blue Lightning, and Reflections of Red are the only three I have in that series. So that is all my reflection, uh, fantastic fashion, sorry. If you do see some on cards, some will also be double posted. So one will be in English and one will be in Spanish, possibly, or just Spanish, or there's some in Italian. Um, so there are different versions out there if you're interested. This one says 1985. So these are my fantastic fashions. So if, again, they are readily available on eBay if you're looking to start your own collection to po you know to put in your collection of just the first series, and then just keep an eye out for the second series. Okay, stay tuned for more.